Good evening, everybody. I am sorry that I can't be joining you to live tonight, but I'm hopefully having a great time cheering on the Packers at Lambeau Field and watching them win a game. <laughs> um, so again, thank you for joining me at what normally would be our live time, but I've pre-recorded this so that we can still stamp together at our normal Monday time. Alrighty, so if you saw the post on Facebook, you know these are the dimensions you need for tonight's project. You need a card base that's five and a half by eight and a half. I'm going to be using real red, and you want to score that at four and a quarter, so it's a normal card face. You need a second color of cardstock that's two and a half by four and a quarter. I'm going to use old olive. A piece of designer series paper that's three by three. I'm going to use a piece from the gingerbread and peppermint designer series paper, which is on page nine of our holiday catalog. And then you need a neutral piece that's one inch by four and a quarter. Um, neutral, of course, being white, vanilla, something, you know, basic like that. Um, and then you need a phrase that's going to fit your piece right there. And then you can have any other accessories you want. If you want um, some bling or some ribbon or another, like, dimensional piece, like a, a focal point die cut image, something like that, that you can always add those on um, after you see what the basic project looks like. Alrighty, so let's get started. Um, most of what I'm using tonight comes from the July to December mini catalog. I'll give you the page numbers of what I'm using so you can always check back with this reference and see what I was referring to. Okay, so first thing you're gonna do is score your cardstock. Or, <laughs> I should say, fold your cardstock on your score line. There we go. And that's so that you have your card base ready to go. Um, we can stamp our phrase. I'm going to be using a Merry Christmas scripty phrase from Heartfelt Wishes. I love this set because of all those really scripty pretty verses. Um, there's actually, if you look at it, there are ways to use this that don't feel super Christmassy. So you've got cheers, which would be great for um, something in the new year, congratulations, wedding, sending love, lots of occasions for that to be much gratitude. Thank you, obviously. And then you can use this for like your Thanksgiving, fall type projects. Um, so you've got happy new year from our family to you and yours. A, a think about the season and heartfelt wishes. So there's lots of other little phrases in here that will be, go beyond the Christmas season. So consider this adding um, to adding this to your wish list because like these, these phrases here are nice and big. They take up a lot of space, which is nice sometimes. And they're in a really pretty font. So I'm going to be using my Merry Christmas and I'm going to stamp that in a real red on that neutral piece. That's the one by four and a quarter. All right. So pardon my head and hopefully I'm getting this straight in case my head popped in there. <laughs> okay. There we go. There's my Merry Christmas. Whoops, and close that up. See, I did actually get my finger in it. <laughs> I was going to say close it up before I stick my finger in it, but I ended up doing that anyway. <laughs> that is the curse of me and red ink pads or dark ink pads for sure. <laughs> okay, so with the rest of these pieces, then you're going to first take your cardstock that's two and a half by four and a quarter. Get some adhesive on the back of that. Oh my goodness. Come on, tape runner. There we go. All right, now it's going to go across the middle like this and kind of near the bottom not exactly directly in the middle a little bit down so maybe like two-thirds down something like that is about where you want that to be and then you're going to take your your square of designer series paper and if you want not quite as much dimension go ahead and just adhere that right on i'm going to be using dimensionals tonight so i'm going to use my little ones and put them in the corners and I always put one if I have a larger piece like this I put one in the middle um, just to kind of hold it up so you don't have a saggy piece in there okay take off all those little plastics I think there's one more here yep okay this is gonna go near the right side leave a little bit of a border here and then basically centered so you have kind of even space of your background card stack showing through okay so there's the basic piece you're going to take now your phrase and tape it over the top here. Now, if you've used dimensionals like I have, I'm only going to run my tape about in this area so that these edges still stand up. I don't want them to go buckle down to the thing because it's going to look a little funny if it buckles in the middle. So I'm just going to run my adhesive kind of in the middle. And this should be the same width as the card stack or the, the card front. So there you go. That is your basic design for tonight. Um, this is a nice way to use up a good paper. It's a good paper cut. Again, you know how I always like my 
three inches or four inches type thing with a with a 12 by 12 piece of paper uh, this particular one of the the gingerbread and peppermint comes six by six so that's also another good measurement by three by three you're taking four per sheet it's easy to make multiples with this um, so this would be a great little assembly line type card if you want to do a quick and, quick and cute Christmas card to mail out to people this would be a really great layout for you to use and then of course later I will put in um, a white inside that's four by five and a quarter to fit that okay so let me show you some of the options other alternative options I made I should say this is using the strong of heart set which is on page five of the mini catalog and yes this is kind of like a you know there's hearts obviously so it could be love messages but it's designed to offer support and strength for those who might be going through something at the time um they're going to take three dollars from every set we sell and donate to health heart health charities so you have through struggle comes strength stronger than you know you amaze me and here for you so great little positive message to send to someone who might be dealing with um something a little more you know extreme or something like that so I've got mint macaron this is actually the Christmas paper called whimsy and wonder it's the one that's really pink and silvery and green and this is just one of the opposite sides so you'd never really know that that was a Christmas paper at all and then this is the blushing bride ribbon that goes along with it and I took that little heart right out of the strong of heart and I used the scribbly background heart the heart to make my background all right then I used the stars are shining bundle and it comes with the starlet punch and one of the cool things is you see this image right here those will fit all inside of there and it's one piece so that's one stamp and you can punch all of them at one time when they're all when you're decorated with your stamp I just punched out silver stars out of just this plain silver foil paper and I only used one of them on there I used kind of this more like Star of David type looking one and this time with my banner across I put it into our pick a punch uh, the banners pick a punch tool <laughs> that mopped off the corners there for me and into that little arrow point kind of thing this designer series paper here is peaceful place from page 37 the silver foil the there's silver foil um, in on page 23 of the mini catalog and it actually kind of comes in three different shades within there so there's kind of a bright a dark and something in the in the in the middle um, so it's kind of interesting you, you use a couple different shades of silver from that so a lot of fun projects you can use that on and celebrate the wonder comes from the stamp set so the um, the stars are shining bundles on page 14 and then the banner pick a punch is in the annual catalog on page 149 hopefully I got all those page numbers in on that one <laughs> um, then for my last one here before I show you the stepped up version I want to show you I just took the same layout and I tilt I put it on its side basically so this was our vertical version Here's a horizontal version. Um, so still the three by three, still the same measurement here and here. Um, I did add some sponged color around the edge of this one because it was a little too, um, I, that's actually vanilla, but it was a little stark, especially since I used a stark background here as well. And you might be looking at this and going, huh, I don't recognize that. Um, I made my own DS Designer Series paper basically by taking this little leaf stamp from the Nuts About Squirrels, and that's in the mini on page 49 and I stamped it in four different colors. I have Mary Merlot, Cajun Craze, Bumblebee, and Old Olive. And then it's on a Cajun Craze and Bumblebee background. Um, again, I reached for Heartfelt Wishes from page 57. That's where that much gratitude comes from. I just thought it was a fun little twist. And then if you can see, before I put that piece of cardstock down, I crumpled it up in my hand. So there's a little bit of texture to it without adding a whole lot of bulk. Alrighty, and then I'm gonna bring this back in. This was the one we made on camera. And here's my stepped up version. So what I did with this is I changed the background itself to white, and I used the red as a layer instead. So my red piece is four by five and a quarter. My pieces here are the same. This is still a three by three piece of designer series paper, but I did a red piece around it for a border. I added some red rhinestones to my phrase. And then I'm gonna pick this up a little bit so you can see I embossed both the olive layer and part of the red layer with the dots embossing folder that comes from the checks and dots collection. There's, there's two that come together, and those would be on page 154 of the annual catalog. You get both together, and they're only three inches wide, which is why there's a blank spot on each side of that. It's only in the middle of my background layer 
on that particular one because it's only that wide. So, um, so there you go. That's my regular version and a little stepped up. Um, both of these would of course be super for you to make for Christmas. Um, this one's super simple and great assembly line work. If you want to get your whole family involved, someone could be doing, you know, the DSP portion, send it on down the road, <laughs> and then you can all be making your Christmas cards together. All right. So there again is the silver, um, from stars are shining and then the mint and let me put these up a little bit higher and the bumblebee okay there you go all right so that was super quick and easy because you know i'm not answering questions and saying hi to everybody so um i will just say i miss seeing you quote unquote <laughs> tonight and i will join you again live next monday all right everybody have a great night thank you so much for watching